Attorneys, judges, and city officials met last July during the Coral Gables Bar Association Monthly Luncheon to listen to City Attorney Craig Lean, who was invited as the speaker of the event, to discuss the impact of the home rule over counties and municipalities. The Coral Gables Bar Association meets every month with a selected speaker to discuss legal issues and their impact on the community. Mr. Lean uh, laid out uh, why it's very important that we have strong home rule provisions for a city like Coral Gables, uh, where we have such a long history and where we have a tradition of local control. Uh, I think that his uh, points were very well taken, uh, and he has explained that in this current uh, round of constitutional revision, where the state constitution is being studied, uh, that he thinks careful attention needs to be made to be sure that we still have strong home rule at the local level. City Attorney Craig Lean emphasized on the importance that local government retains its power to enact ordinances and regulate over their community as they see fit, strongly opposing to limitations contemplated by state legislator. There are a number of statutes that have been adopted in the last several years that have limited the power of cities vis-a-vis uh, -vis the state. Um, there are a number of legislators, who's, legislators who understand senators and representatives who understand that cities need to have authority to adopt ordinances. And they've defended cities against encroachments on home rule. Uh, but last year there was an attempt to pass a statute, it was called HB 17, House Bill 17, which would have eliminated the city's ability to enact business regulations. In my opinion, that statute, if it had been enacted, would have been unconstitutional because it would have violated the municipal Home Rule Amendment, which was adopted by the voters of Florida um, many decades ago. Coral Gables City Manager Kathy Swanson Rivenbarth was a guest at the luncheon, and she also expressed her support in protecting local government powers. Our office is here as the city manager's office because we have a great relationship with the city attorney, but because Home Rule is what makes Coral Gables special. The ability to select colors, the ability to protect our residential areas. So we need this kind of proactive defense to make sure that Coral Gables stays special. I would just remind residents that local government is the most responsive form of government and it is closest to the people. So it's important for us to be able to exercise our home rule authority to serve our constituents. At the event, the Coral Gables Community Foundation announced the establishment of the Coral Gables Bar Association Scholarship Fund in memory of Irvin A. Gonzalez with a $5,000 check presentation. The fund will award university scholarships to local students with high academic marks and extracurricular involvement that are experiencing financial hardship. The next Coral Gables Bar Association luncheon is scheduled for August 16th at Morton Steakhouse of Coral Gables. Reporting for Coral Gables Television, Shakir Mollett.